All right, so we're going to do shortcuts for proving triangles congruent. There's a subtitle, Proving tri Triangles Congruent Part 1. We're going to continue to add ways to prove that triangles are congruent because there are shortcuts. And we all love shortcuts, especially when we're doing our math and we have to do other things. We want to get it done fast. All right. All right. For all, just watch for a moment. If all six parts course of the corresponding parts, that's the sides and the angles are congruent, then the triangles are congruent. That's really, as far as you know right now, the only way for a triangle to be congruent is all the sides and all the angles. If I had to look at something and measure every side or measure every angle or decide if every angle and every side were congruent, that would be six things I'd have to prove, and that would make your proof be longer. That would mean, for this one, that I would have to make sure that AB was congruent to DE. I would have to make sure that BC was congruent to EF. And I'd have to make sure that AC was congruent to DF because we have the small, medium, and large as we went along there. I'd also have to prove that my angles were all congruent. That would be six things I'd have to prove before I could write a congruent statement or do a proof. I'd have to have six way things that I have to prove. There's got to be a shorter way. A moment ago, you did a construction. I asked you to copy one triangle to the other one. Did you measure any angles when you did that? You measured three sides. Okay, that's the very first thing, the shortcut. If I gave you three toothpicks of different size and you put them together and you put the same three toothpicks of the same size, you would get the same triangle no matter what. Okay, the shortcut for proving the triangle is current, the very first one, it's called SSS, which stands for side, side, side. If you look at in your terms, I think it's the next one down. The side, side, side congruence postulate states, I think that's you, Brett, now. You're yeah. the last one that hasn't read. read. Yeah. You have to read out loud. Well, if, unless it's like, you, if you refuse, I won't make you. Three sides of one triangle are congruent to three sides of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Notice I didn't say anything about angles. So, I mentioned before that this is your note sheet, and we're only going to use two of them today. And so, you have little pictures there. You're going to put S, S, S in there. You can do it in color. It's not going to take long to pick a color Just if you don't S want. S S S Just S, S, S. Cool. If oh. you want to write side, 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 please feel free to. I heard it like this. S, S, S. Feel free to write in there. And then we're going to make some marks on it. We're going to make the marks. The long ones at the bottom. The short, the middle one. And the long one. Excuse me. And the short one, excuse me. If the three sides are congruent to each other, then the, if, the, if one triangle's sides are congruent to the other triangle's sides, then we don't have to do anything about the angles. We automatically know that those two triangles are congruent. So I was going to mark it over here also for you guys. We have a break week, right? One more time. We have a break, right? We do. Yes. We do. And then next month and the month after that there is no break. Yes. Yeah, we have no, this is our last week. Yeah, this, this is our last week. December. <laughs> <laughs> December. In three weeks we have no like CC break. Yo, I'm so happy. <laughs> Alright, okay. so let's there's one more. <laughs> one more. My slide only changed. Well, let's look up there. I want you to just notice really quick. I went from there to there. What happened? <laughs> The center, became the, center the only thing that changed oh, was yeah. the S A S. I mean, on, I'm going to be completely honest. I did not know what happened. <laughs> so we, I, I didn't see it I had happened, side, side, so. side there. Right now I have S A S. That stands for side, angle, angle side. side. Okay. Bridge posture. So go ahead, Amy. What does it say? If two sides and the included angle of one triangle are congruent to the two sides and the included angle of a second triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So it would be like like this and then this angle would Yes, so if I'm going to come over here. You can. I'm going to draw on the big ones you're drawing on your own. So if this and this are congruent and this is and this, I'm going to label A, B, C. It has to be included. So which am I going to mark? Am I going to mark A, B, or C for this angle? 
angle A because it has to be between the two sides. Oh. I could not make B, then it wouldn't be side angle side. It would be something else. So I have to be like that. So the angle must be between the two sides. That's why they call it side, angle, side. Side, angle, side. Okay. These are the only two we're going to do today. Hold on. So with these, basically, with the homework. homework, basically you can tell like it has an angle. In between. And it is, and it is congruent, then it's a side, angle, side. Yes. Be careful. Be careful because we're going to go over some of them that... We'll do that in a minute. Yes. Be real over. careful. Wrong, I'm going to go over I'll some. Change. All right. Good. 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 You have, any, you have an eraser. Good job. Okay. All right. Here we go. Side angle side. Here we go. We're going to do all the odds going down. I took out the evens. Let's do this together. Now, I want you to notice something. Notice up the top, the instructions. Determine if they are congruent. Someone mentioned a moment ago, but they look congruent, but they might, marks might not indicate it, but be careful. If they are, state how, that means side, 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 or side, angle, side, but they might not be congruent. So let's look at number one. Number one, are they congruent? Yes. yes. How? Side, angle, side. I heard side, side angle, angle, side. I do agree. That was probably Number three, I'm going down the left side. Side, side. side. I heard yes. side, side, side. Yes. Okay? Yes. Uh, Be very careful with number five. Number five? Now. Wait, but there's. We, oh. Yeah, that's. that's right? I want you to notice something, though. I have these angles. You are allowed to say that those angles are congruent because you know the vertical right. angles are congruent. Yeah. Okay. Are those triangles congruent? Even if they look it. Right now, all I have is a side, and I have an angle. Is there a side angle theorem? No. Or postulate? No. no. So you're going to put something like not enough info. Uh, oh, yeah. yay. So we don't have to write either one. You have to write more letters, though, Amy. I know. Way more letters. <laughs> 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 Unless you want to put a little key at the top of your paper and say... No. E and F means not enough info, and then you can, you know, put it all. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> number seven. I love this one, and you're going to see it often. Are well, that's these the same one as number two. Are these congruent, number seven? Technically, wouldn't it be since they're sharing side. that yeah. side? Yeah. Yes, they're sharing that side, side, and that side is congruent to itself. Side, side, side. So it is side, side, side. I knew it. Now, one of your proofs, I'm going to talk about it right now. I'm going to put some letters on here. I'm going to put A. No, bad A. But can we use process of elimination on proof? A. <laughs> a. No, no, B. B. A, A, A. A, A, A. <laughs> so, A, okay. So 9 would be side angle side. Almost. Let's talk about this. I'll, I'm going to talk about oh, that in a minute. That You're getting ahead of me. <laughs> if, if on one of your proofs, to get a side, oh, side, yeah. side, okay. you're going to have to say that B, D, is congruent to itself. What reason? Definition of congruent, right? You just said it. <laughs> Starts with an R. Reflexive. Reflexive. So you want to write, oh. want to write that down somewhere on your notes or maybe on one of your proofs back there. If you're saying something is, <clears throat> if you're saying something is congruent to itself, it's reflexive. So it's not. That one's not. Side angle side. It's this one right here that we did number. Seven is not side angle side, it's side side side, but are you wanting me to do nine now? I mean, uh, seven is reflexive, not side side side. Seven is, is side side side, side, side but, if doing... but if you're doing a proof, you're going to have to state that that side's congruent to itself. Okay. When it comes time, I'm giving you like a little uh, like a hint B's. before you need it on your proof, okay? Gotcha. You're so nice. What? I just, I pretty much did your proof for you. Okay, uh, here we go. Yeah. Okay. So wow. you just need to know no, that I... the statements on oh. the proofs, and we, all we have to do is fill in the reasons. Aww. Yay! Yeah. Oh, wait. That's the worst part for me to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, all right, number nine. I can figure out Let's do problem. number nine. Yeah. Number nine. I'm not going to write anything down. Are those congruent 
Yes. Yeah. I heard yes. 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 Right angle sex. Right angle sex. Very good, because what reason, not, you don't have to give that part, but what reason Vertical would those be congruent? Vertical, Vertical angles. Side, angle, mm -hmm. side. Yes. So that vertical angles that we used last unit, we're going to use over and over and over and over. All right. Ten. I'm just going to say, just say no. Just say no. Uh, no, with no Is there more? Okay. Last construction. Number ten technically would be, but it's not something we learned yet. So what do we do? I'm not, I'm going to answer that question in a moment. Let's move up okay. to this one. We're going to do number 13 together. We're going to do the side, side, side construction. I'm going to pause it, and we're going to see how much you can figure out on your own, okay? What? Pause. You're going to have your homework done before you even leave here. I know. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. No, All right, so we're going to... Um, I know. It's not... <laughs> I was actually planning on going home. And it's a break week. Yeah. And it's a break week. All, all in one day. Yeah. Yeah. I was actually planning on going home and doing rough math because I can't find my science video anymore. Oh, okay. I was just thinking about doing my tests and stuff. I would not do that. So we just I finished that construction. Do I need to post a video about it? About um, what? Do I, will you need a video showing you how to do that construction since you didn't have your compass here? Nah. Okay. All right. So. I, I, last time I couldn't it. remember how to do it, so I just used you the You followed the instructions and it worked? Okay. All right. That we did, All right. So we there. just did that construction. Let me make sure there's nothing else. Oh, yeah. We have a proof, you guys. So go back to the. We have a proof that we're going to do together. It's not for your homework, though, but it will help you with your homework. So go ahead and get back to your note sheets, if you will. Okay. Note sheets. Uh -huh. Note sheets. Yeah. One second. <laughs> yeah, I wanna. <laughs> I wanna finish this first, so I'll. Work. No, 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 no! Ow! Hurry, hurry, hurry! We're Are recording. We We're recording you guys okay. being okay. devious. Okay. Your parents are gonna watch this and see. I'm not devious. devious. Trying to I'm do not your being homework. Devious. I'm just <laughs> being efficient. I want my homework done before I get behind in it. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm, I know you're not doing devious. All right, well, there's a proof in there, and I thought it would be nice for us to do a proof together before I just fling you out oh, some proofs, okay? Wow. All right, it's now, so but before we can use side, 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 or side angle side, your proof must state the sides and the angles in it before you can use it at the end, okay? So before I even start, I like to decide if I'm going to, if, if I have enough information for side, 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 or I have enough information for side, angle, side. So I am going to mark the given on mine here. The given says that we have AE, that's right here, is congruent to DE. Are you, you with me so far? Okay. And then it says that BE, I'm going to make two marks on there. And it says CE. Right? What else do we know based on our diagram? Um... One and two are congruent. One and two are congruent. We can, I'm going to put it in a different color. That color will be telling me that I have to actually state it in my proof. Okay? Isn't that vertical angle? Is that side, 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 or side, no, angle, right. side? Side, angle, side. Side, angle, side. I am going to put myself a little note to myself that I am doing side, angle, side. Of all the proofs that we have done, the triangle ones are the most straightforward. It seems strange that I would give you the most straightforward ones at the end, but that's just how it worked, okay? So in your proof, you must have that two sides are congruent, another two sides are congruent, and you must have an angle in there before you can be done. So all we've got to do is do the angle because both sides are already here. We already right. have two of the sides, and now we have to do the angle. So that was number one. Number one is congruent to angle two. Number two, angle one is congruent to angle two. Vertical angle theorem. All right. So I have two sides and an included angle. I have what I need. So now I can just state that triangle A. Excuse me. And the, they, I mean, they have to be in order, but they're already given to us an order up there. A, E, B. B, and then D, E, C. But I use side angle side theorem? Yes. You can just Wait, put S, A, S. Is it theorem or postulate? Yes, it is. Good um, question. It's a postulate. Postulate, yes. The only one that... Oh, it's side no. angle side congruent what? postulate. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's a postulate. Side angle side? So if I, I'm going to just do this. 
Wait, why are there two? Oh, no, that's ASA, not SAS. Yeah, be careful. One's okay. it, yeah. So I'm just going to do SAS. You can write the word postular theorem at the end if you need to, but... Questions? All right. So the triangle ones, even though it might be difficult to get to figure out how they're going to be congruent, before you can say that they're congruent, you have to have the pieces of your letters that are listed. You're going to have to have two angle, two sides and an included angle for SAS. If you're going to use side, 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 you have to have three sides. Question. Yes, ma'am. Number 10. Back here on the homework. Okay, just a second. Anything on this one? No. All right. I'm going to just finish this up, and then I'll go with that, okay? All right. So in summary, if you'll look up here real quick, we have two shortcuts. And you have a shortcuts page. We filled in two at the top. Okay. You have side, side, side. That was three sides congruent to three sides of another triangle, and they're congruent. Now we have side, angle, side. That angle has to be between the two sides. You couldn't have it. Yeah, yeah, we'll just do that. There's our side, side, side. We have a side, another side, another side. And your angle for the side, angle, side must be included in between the two sides. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Okay? Questions? All right. Um, for the purpose of this, we can say goodbye and I'll answer your question.